got our new goats. Oh yeah. That's and we're about to build a temporary fence for them. And we went shopping. So, what are these, honey? These are uh, fiberglass uh, stakes for making a fence. Okay. You want to give them a close up? Yep. So we're going to be using these. Uh, everyone uses Premier One, but being who we are, we kind of like doing things a little differently. And at the cost of Premier One, we thought we'd try our local uh, tractor store yeah. and get the parts we wanted to do and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, well, this video will show you that we're human and we're trying something different. It didn't work, so hopefully it'll be educational regardless. If it works, good. If it don't, it's still good for you. And not only that, another reason why we had to divert from Premier One and use our local tractor supply is because we were online mm -hmm. and the size we were looking for was on back order. Remember that? And just about everything's on back order right now because we are in the middle of COVID-19. I should say middle, but we're after July 4th, 2020, if you're watching this in the future. So we're working with what we have. It looks more like a rope, but it's got electrical wires built into it. And you're seeing it as we're opening it, too. There we go. Oh, it's pinned in there. That'd be bad for goats. So it is a rope, but I don't know if you can see it, there's wire strands intertwined into it. So it's an electric rope that we're going to be using. This particular one, because it's thick, so the goats will easily be able to see it, and even though we're going to have it electrified, they may not pass it just because they can see it. Our fencer is going to be a... 30 joule or 30 mile 1.2 output joule uh, so yeah 30 joule we'd probably barbecue the uh, poor goats so we're not going to do a 30 joule but this is what we're going to be using for a fencer it says it's good for goats bulls large exotics predators cattle horses pigs dogs rabbits and fowl so we'll see how this works I also have a connection for uh, a electrical gate so that we can get in and out if we have something bigger like a tractor or whatnot we got to get in there and I never had one before so we'll also be doing a sort of review on the um, multi-light electric fence tester from the tractor store so stick around as we break out the posts and start putting all this stuff together oh and for reference it's about one two o'clock in the afternoon and it's well over 90 degrees. I think we're around 93, 94 with 90% humidity and clouds. And yeah, so if I'm sweating, it's hot.
How many posts you put in so far? Are you counting? I put in that many. We're using an old screwdriver I found at a job site when I was doing demolition. And I am using a small sledge that I found at a job site when I was using or doing demolition. And as I said in previous videos, our, our, our ground resembles concrete more than it resembles ground, especially when dry. If this was wet and it soaked in a little, you could probably push through it with your foot and sink up to your knee if it's really wet. But when it's dry, it's literally concrete. I mean, this is... Yeah. <laughs> So we had a little break in between. Um, we had we had to pause slimming because the vet came and they spent about two, three hours looking at our horde of goats that we bought. Come to find out, we have a bit sick. Either they're traveling with a respiratory infection or they have a fever. Um, temperatures ranging between 104 to about 105 and above. So I think it was a good call that Paul and I made in getting the vets to come out and give us that professional eye over or review in our herd. And the fence is beginning to look very, very good. We've got to put one more line. So we'll have four lines for the goats. And they're going to love this shade. Temporarily staying. So we're going to have, our property is fairly big, so we plan on having several different pasture or feeding area for them. And this is going to be the first feeding area. We're going to have them come in here and, you know, eat their fill. Hi, Justina. Hey, Justina. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Justina. I bet you can't wait to get in here, huh? So you can eat all these leaves. And Justina, I bet you can't wait. You gonna say something to the camera? Justina, you gonna say something to the camera, sweetheart? <laughs> 